Hello everyone! The new and updated QSM is here! Let's have a quick look into getting started with QSM. To install a fresh QSM plugin on a website, I'm using InstaWP here. InstaWP is the most refined platform to create quick disposable WordPress websites. This tool helps you to test your plugins, themes, ideas, and almost everything you could do on a WordPress website. We are here at the dashboard of our website. Let's start by adding the plugin. Hover over the plugin section and click on Add New. Now, type QSM or Quiz and Survey Master in the search box. Click on the Install button and the first search result. Once installed, click on the Activate button. You can notice that QSM is now visible on the sidebar of your WordPress environment. Click on QSM. We'll immediately reach the QSM dashboard. Here, you could see important notifications related to your quizzes, surveys, or forms created by you. Let's create a quiz and see how quickly to create a quiz in just a few clicks. To create a quiz, click on Create a new quiz or survey. The first thing we see is a collection of stunning themes offered by QSM. There are premium themes and free themes as well to give a special touch to your quizzes, surveys, or forms. For now, I'm selecting the theme. Now, click on Next. We'll reach the Quiz Settings section where we could do an initial setup of our required quiz, survey, or form. First, we start by adding a name to the quiz we are creating. Then we select the form type if we are creating a quiz, survey, or form. I'm selecting a quiz here to show you a quick example. Next, we have to set a grading system for the quiz. If you want to showcase only correct or incorrect answers, then you can select the first option. If you want only points to be calculated, then you can select the second option. In my situation, I wish to show the correct answers or incorrect answers, and I also want to assign particular points for correct answers, hence I'm selecting the third option to consider both conditions in the quiz. We can now select if we want to show the contact form to our users before the quiz starts. In my situation, I wish to show a contact form, hence selecting yes over here. Coming to set a time limit to the quiz, you could set a time limit to take the quiz you created. If you don't wish to show any timer, you can leave the timer input to zero. I'm setting a time of five minutes. In the next one, you could select if you want only logged in users to take the quiz. I'm selecting no here because I want everyone to attempt this quiz and not just a logged in users of my website. Next comes the disabling the first page on a quiz. I'm selecting a no here. You can select yes here if you think that the first page of your quiz can be skipped. The last setting is enabling a comment box. If you want some comments after your quiz, you can enable this option or you could disable it. Now, click on Next, and you'll reach the Add-ons section where we get to see the popular add-ons of QSM. You could select any add-ons as per your requirements to add more features to your forms, quizzes, or surveys. Currently, I don't need any feature add-on, so let's click on Create Quiz. We have reached the Questions tab where we can enter our questions for our customers. Let's start by entering some questions into our quiz. For this tutorial, I am creating a general test where I want to quiz people about basic mathematics questions, some general knowledge questions, and some super simple science questions. First, I'll create a mathematics question set with different questions like multiple choice and horizontal multiple choice. Great! Now let's create a general knowledge question with various question types like a short answer, question type, where people could enter short answers, and a date question type, where the user could select a date from the calendar. Moving on to the next question set, I'm creating a science question set with a number type where the user could enter only numbers and a drop-down type question where the user could select the answer from the drop-down menu. All good, the question set is done. Once done, review the question and answers entered. Seems like everything's fine. Let's create a contact form to take the user details. As you can see, we get two fields already created. We could edit as per our requirements. I'm renaming the section here to full name and email address. If you want to add more sections, 
you could use a disabled section or click on add new field or you could click on the duplicate icon to duplicate and edit the contact section. If you wish to create a completely new contact field based on your choice, you can disable the pre-built fields and create your own fields by clicking on the add new field button. Here, you can select the type of contact sections you want to create. You could drag and drop to reposition the series of contact fields. Once you're happy with the contact form, click on save form. Moving to the next tab for text. Here, you can set some personalized text for your quiz and you can set various text for different levels of your quiz. Here in this example, I'm selecting message displayed before quiz to display my personalized message before the quiz starts. Moving to the next tab for advanced options. Here, you can control every function of your quiz and personalize it as per your requirements. At the top, you could notice settings available for various categories, which makes it easy for you to control your quiz's behavior. In general options, you could notice almost the same settings which we had during the initial setup of our quiz. Here, you can change those settings and change some additional settings like adding a start and end date to the quiz, displaying random questions, and so on. In quiz submission options, you could limit the number of attempts and entries. Additionally, there are other options to change as per your quiz characteristics. Coming to display options, you could control what you want to show to your users. Moving to the email tab, here you can set automated email notifications sent to the users. You can manage when you want the system to send an email for taking your quiz. You can set multiple email responses based on the scores of your points or you can completely personalize it as per your preference. And, you could use various template variables to personalize your email effectively. Once you're happy with your email responses, click on the Save Emails button. Next, we'll set up a result page for our quiz. Again, here on the result page, you could completely customize a result page for various users depending on different conditions. You could personalize each result page by using the template variables. If you don't want to invest a lot of time thinking about the various result pages, you could simply set one universal result page and personalize it with template variables. You get complete control over what you want to showcase. Once you're happy with your result page, click on the Save Result Page. At this stage, we could have a quick look at how our quiz is looking and how it is operating by clicking on View Quiz at the top right corner of the page. The quiz looks fine, but let's customize the quiz theme a little. Now, let's move to the next tab, which is Style. Here, we could see all the themes we have already downloaded in our profile. Let me switch the theme to default so that I could show you what your quiz might look like. Once you click on Activate button on the default theme, let's preview the theme. Let's switch back to the Serene theme and get it customized. First. Activate the theme by clicking on Activate. Once done, you'll be able to see a button named Customize. Click on that. Now with a pop-up, you could select your desired background color, text colors, and so on. Once you've selected the new colors of your choice, click on Save Settings. Let's preview the changes. Wonderful! Looks fine! When you're happy with your quiz, then publish the quiz by clicking on the Publish Quiz button. To view all the quizzes, surveys, or forms created by you, hover over QSM and click on Quizzes and Surveys. Here, you can see a complete list of all the examinations created. Let's add this published quiz to a post. To do so, click on the short codes icon. From the pop-up, you could select if you want to copy a short code or a linked short code. I'm copying the short code. Now, hover over Posts and click on Add New Post. On the body, add an element called shortcode. Paste your shortcode in the element and you're done. Now you could publish a page or personalize it as per your requirement. Simple, isn't it? To know more about the quiz and survey master, stay tuned to this channel. Until next time, bye bye.